Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and I'm going to show you how to do extended depth of field with focus stacking. I have three images here. Let's open those up into Camera Raw real quick. These were all shot with different focus points. And so you see that as it moves through, the focus changes in the image. Let's go ahead and develop this image here. We're covering the highlights a bit and adding some clarity back in, as well as lifting the shadows. Kind of fix that color balance a little. Looks pretty good. Bring back that color. Let's select those and synchronize. There we go. At this point, I can click Done. Back in Photoshop, I'll choose File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. This allows me to browse and locate those images. I can now grab those raw files and click Open. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and align those automatically, and it's going to put them into one image and attempt to make sure that all the details line up properly in the photo. Now, if you shot on a tripod rock solid, you may not need to worry about that option. There we go. Let's select those three images now, and I'll choose Edit, Auto Blend Layers, and I'll tell it to stack the images, making sure that everything is seamless. It's going to analyze those and then generate some masks to blend that together to give me an extended depth of field within the shot. That looks good. And you see if we turn those on, how different parts of the images were used to create a greater depth of field than I could pull off with the lens. Let's crop that in just a little bit. We'll go with a 5 by 7 switch that, and let's take that closer to the native 16 by 9 that I shot this at. That's looking good. And we'll crop that image and finish it out with a curves adjustment, taking advantage of auto curves. I just option or alt clicked on the curve, told to snap the midtone there, and we're just going to pull the middle down just a bit. That looks great, and the image is done.